5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey guys, Wicked here. Welcome to another Clash of Clans video. And today we have a Clan War recap. Um, number 37 against Myanmar fighters. I, th I believe they're from Thailand. And um, it's a pretty good war. Um, before I go ahead though, I'm going to announce the three winners of the last question time. And first place was CJ Henderson. Second place was Purple Viking. And third place was TCAR20. Those points will be put on the leaderboard on my About Me section. So stay tuned in for the next question at the end of this episode to get your points. So let's go ahead with the clan war now. So we've got Tobias versus Kayor to win. Definitely sounds Thai. From, uh, thai. And um, he's looming with a giant there, uh, going down to the south, and we've got two menacing loons and a Valkyrie, so pretty difficult kind of uh, clan castle selection there for the attacker. So let's see what he does here. So um, he's dragging the troops down south. He's trying to get those loons closer together because they are quite slow, so he's trying to get them closer to the other troops so he can do this, drop down the poison spell. So it's not going to immediately kill the uh, loons and the Valkyrie, but it will kill the uh, Barbarians, Archers and Wizards that were there. So now he's dropped in his Golem and he's got to be careful here because the, those loons can uh, knock out significant health from the Golem um, from their damage. So he's got the Wizards behind him shooting them down though, so which that was awesome. And he done a funnel for the Peckers uh, to direct them to the center. So um, if he didn't, those Peckers would be going around the outside and we wouldn't want that. He'd, um, Put a pretty awesome rage on top of the peckers near close to the middle and he's put that heal spell there to keep alive um, those wizards on the left unfortunately they're going around now they're not going straight for the center so the peckers and the barbarian king and um, some wizards have gone to the center and fortunately there is a heal spell there uh, because they've just knocked out those double giant bombs and um, wiped a bit of the barbarian king's health so now he's raged the bk He's gone up north, he's traveling well, he's got wizards on the outside clearing those structures, but he's got two peckers alive and he's Barbarian King, which is very good news. And, um, oh, he's, he's BK just died, but he's got a lot of clearing troops on the outside. And his peckers, um, one of them's pretty good health, the other one's quite low. But there's only a uh, cannon and a whiz tower left and an archer tower. So now there's only whiz tower and archer tower, and that should be no problems with the pecker. The, the, the uh, splash damage don't do as much damage to peckers um, because they're only good for flimsy troops like archers and uh, barbarians. But there we go. There's a three star. Good go wipe. Good traditional go wipe against Tamil 8. So this is a good, uh, interesting base. I've seen a lot of people um, make this base in Clan Wars and use it. And um, this is a pretty interesting way to, uh, to clear it. So he's put in some golems on one corner. And I think he was trying to go for the lure with the Hog Rider there. Um, but he falls short. He's going to go to the other defenses now. So he didn't lure the Clan Castle there. But he's got the uh, Golems down that all that corner. He's got, he dropped a few Wizards and Witches. But he's hanging on to around 10 Wizards, 1 Witch, and his Clan Castle troops and his Heroes. So um, now he's got the Clan Castle troops now. He's got a level 4 Dragon in there. And um, he should be able to annihilate that now. Usually the good thing with witches is the, the dragons get distracted by the skeletons and they follow them around instead. So that's good. So he's using the golems to his advantage now. So he's got a few golems on the right side, uh, which is nearly knocked down the right side. So he's going to expect his right side troops are going to be knocked out very soon. But he's got two solid golems on the bottom now. And he's got his witches and wizards and heroes behind it backing it up. So his plan is to pretty much knock out the uh, outside buildings first. Because there is a lot of percentage on the outside. And there's pretty much um, minimum um, defenses in the middle. So this base has worked heaps before. I've seen it um, only get one starred. Uh, but um, we'll see what happens here. It's going to be a three star obviously. But see how he deploys it he's he's just you know saving those wizards there uh probably for that top right corner uh so he can clear their that area and not run out of time so that's pretty important with this base to, is running out of time especially if you're going to go um around the base like this so having witches i reckon with skeletons to be able to help clear the structures is quite important 
uh, for this kind of raid. So here we go. Now he's he's focusing to go to the center. Now there's four Teslas and two Expos. Quite high damaging um, defenses there. But he's got one max golem. Oh, he's got one max golem and a level four golem that could take most of that damage. Unfortunately, his queen's getting targeted straight away. But he's going to use the royal cloak. So now the golems are in front now, and um, we'll see how that goes. So the golems are taking the expo damage, but unfortunately some of the wizards are as well. But now he's got the king raged, and he's only got a few seconds left. So he's going to smash this rage, kill those uh, Teslas with those wizards and the BK should knock out the last one. So there we go, there's a three star for Bryson. Um, pretty, pretty different kind of raid for that popular base. So hope you learned something from that. And now it's uh, my attack in Town Hall 10s now. I decided to use the five golem attack here because there's not many compartments and um, the Town Hall is pretty much uh, easy to access from the, from the south. There's only a couple of layers of wa walling there and um, that's what I'm going to do. So I've uh, let the golems enter the first layer of walling and um, so that they, they can trip over any giant bombs for my little flimsy troops and um, now they've got the dra I've got dragon to deal with so I've dropped a few more wizards on the left hand side to deal with that and I'm also going to rage them. So fortunately the dragon get got a little bit distracted with uh, the golems and the skeletons so that's pretty good. So we've got the arch queen on the right hand side we've got two golems pretty good health on that side as well and um, now we get, we're focusing on the town hall the queen knocks out the town hall now all we have to do now is get the 50% star and it's looking pretty good now I've got some uh, I've got a minion three archers and three barbs in reserve to clear it on the outside so that should be no problems at all so there we go now we've got rage the rage the uh, queen around that area and already got the 50 cents so right now all I'm doing now is just finding more percentage so that it just looks better on paper <laughs> so there we go that's a good uh, solid two star for by me um, but it's quite a premature base it's got it's got town hall nine defenses still so it must be a new town, town hall ten so okay so David's attacking there number one and um, he's decided to go for the right hand side this is quite interesting this the way he's uh, attacking this it's a quite a widespread um, it's quite scary uh, thinning out your uh, troops, but it does uh, wonders with David's raids. So, good thing. Good thing about uh, widespread raids is that you don't have to worry about percentages, especially if you're using a go wipe, and that's what he's using here, um, because a lot of a lot of problems arise when you're using go wipe and you get the town hall, but you don't get uh, some of the defenses enough to get a 50%. So. Um, David's got he's got a freeze he's freezing the the inferno tower there and he's got his uh, heroes pretty much at, um, max health still which is awesome he's got a pekka wreaking havoc in the north and um, he's his heroes are heading towards the town hall now so he's got one free spell to go he didn't use his uh, poison spell but that's okay and um, he didn't really need it. I don't think I think I think a dragon came out and his Archer Queen is now smashing the Town Hall for that 2 star and that's quite comfortable now so all he's doing now is getting more percentage finishing off his troops because that we we don't we don't quit our raids we finish them to the end so <laughs> there we go he's got a big golem left and I'll fast forward these, this for you guys because he's just getting percentage on the outside so hope you guys enjoyed that raid uh, smack that like, like button if you enjoyed the clan war recap and um, we'll go ahead and um, after this uh, fast forward we will go ahead and check out the score and see who won who do you think who won ex loyal or Myanmar fighters we'll see in a few seconds and here we go and boom we got ex loyal 54 39 quite a comfortable win um, we had five attacks left um, so those people are naughty for not attacking so <laughs> get up them <laughs> so this is what they did to us um, we did some pretty good three stars. I think the for small war, uh, small wars, it is really important to three star as much as you can um, because the enemy there's just not enough stars in it, so every star counts. And there we go, 55, 54, 39. Hope you guys enjoy that. And the next question time question is, how many spaces 
does a Valkyrie take in the army camp? So let me know in the comments below QT colon you answer and the first three will get featured in the beginning of the first episode so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Smack that like button if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'm so excited that we're nearly up to 10,000 subs. I'm trying to plan something really cool for it so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys next episode. Later guys.